This video will review for a quiz on 10.7 and 10.8. There's really three skills we're looking at here, but they're all just can you plug numbers into a formula properly. We're looking at the volume of pyramids and cones. The formula is the same for both. One third times the area of the base times the height. And that area of the base part will change. If it's a cone, it'll be using the formula for area of a circle. If it's a pyramid, it might be using the formula for area of a square or a rectangle. But other than that, the formula is the same for both. When it comes to spheres, 4 thirds pi r cubed finds the volume. And for surface area, it involves plugging in the radius again. This time it's 4 pi r squared. For number 2, we're finding the volume of a pyramid. So our formula is 1 third times the area of the base times the height. So to find the area of the base, that's what the capital B represents, we figure out what shape this is. Here it's a rectangle. So we use length times width to figure out the area. So we can replace that capital B with a 24. Next up is the height. And this is the distance from the vertex at the top all the way down so that it forms a 90 degree angle with the base. And this we are given is 17. So if I multiply this straight across, I get that the volume is 136 inches cubed. Because volume uses the unit cubed. It's three dimensions. Number six, same formula, volume is equal to one third times the area of the base times the height. The area of the base for this one is a circle, so that's pi r squared, which nine times nine is 81 times pi. So that's what we can plug in for the base. Then the height is the distance from the vertex to the base so that it forms a 90 degree angle. So we can plug in 14. So then we just multiply straight across and we have two answers. One, we leave in terms of pi, that's 378 pi centimeters cubed for the volume. Or we can multiply it by pi and round to the nearest tenth. So these are our two possible answers. We use the same formula for number seven and this time when we find the area of the base we aren't directly given the radius. 24 is equal to the diameter here. But we know the relationship between diameter and radius. The radius is exactly half of the diameter. So that's what we can plug in here. This becomes pi times 12 squared, or 144 pi for the area of the base. So then we have to plug in the height, which is the distance between the vertex and the base so that it forms a 90 degree angle, and that is given here as 30 inches. So I can multiply straight across, and my first answer is 1440 pi inches cubed. And if I actually multiply out the pi and round to the nearest tenth, here's what I get. So we're going to skip over number two, but the volume of a hemisphere would just be take the whole volume and cut it in half. Here we are in number three. To find the volume of the sphere, we're going to use our formula. The volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed, and our radius here is one. So if we take one times one times one, it doesn't change, and our answer is four thirds pi meters cubed. For number six, we just plug into a different formula. We have to recognize that 16 is the diameter, so the radius is half of that, which is 8. So we plug that in here. We have 4 times pi times 8 squared. So this gives us 4 times pi times 64. And if I take 64 times 4, I get 256 pi. So this is yards cubed, and that's the surface area. So for 13, we're back to the volume formula. And r, the radius, is going to be half of the diameter, so it's 9. So we can just plug that in right here. Remember that 9 cubed is 9 times 9 times 9, or just 9 carat 3, which turns out to be 729. If I multiply this by 4 thirds, I get 972 pi. And we can leave our answer as centimeters cubed. For the last one, we're back to surface area. We're given the radius this time as 21. So we plug in 21 for r, and we have 4 pi times 21 squared. So 21 times itself gives us 441. If we multiply this by 4, we get 1,764. And our, we're going to leave our answer in terms of pi, so we don't have to multiply by 3.14. And it's just 1,764 pi. So all of the problems come back to these three different formulas. And this capital B 
is the area of the base, which changes. There's different formulas depending on what the base is. But otherwise, we're just plugging in height, plugging in areas of bases, plugging in radius.